Good morning, good morning from freezing Denver, Colorado. Where it's the warmest it's been in quite a few mornings at a whopping 28 degrees. Uh, we're currently waiting for the uh, windows to unthaw and we'll be on our way. Cheers to your morning coffee. Don't leave home without it. Bradley, how are you? Good, notifications are going out. Good morning, Tracy. I have a fabulous new mod, everybody. Meet Tracy777. Uh, don't come in here with your BS or you'll be bye-bye. Tri-State Audit. Lewis, good morning. Hi, everybody. Thanks for being in here. So I'm in the car. And some of you have been following the story with Nicole. Nicole had her camper taken from her over in Inglewood. Good morning, Glinda. And she went to jail on a bogus, bogus warrant, you know, a victimless crime warrant where the courts say you will comply with our compulsor, compulsory demands or we will jail your ass. So Nicole went to jail on an old traffic warrant out in Arvada. So we're headed out there today. <clears throat> this is her uh, follow-up court appearance from being jailed for that and losing everything she owned, her home, all her items. So we're gonna get an update from Nicole this morning. Good morning, Irish Rover. Good morning, Shannon. So we're gonna make the drive to pick up Nicole and we'll just, chat until we get to court. <clears throat> I haven't been to Arvada for a very long time. It's Arvada Municipal Courts. It's about, oh, well, let's say five, five or so miles northwest of Denver. It's a suburb of Denver in Jefferson County. I don't know what Nicole was thinking that she could go into Jefferson County into Arvada, Colorado, thinking she had some kind of right to survive. <clears throat> Without paying government for that permission. Remember, people, this is about the money. So today's approach, I'm hopeful, will be a little bit different. As you all know, I'm supposed to be taking a break. I have no problem doing this for Nicole. I told her we would do this uh, when she <clears throat> was going through all of the RV issues. Uh, her car has been stolen. That happened before the government stole her camper. She doesn't know who stole her car, but it severely altered her life. As you know, we have uh, a stolen vehicle problem here in Colorado because the cops are more interested in arresting people with cameras than they are fighting actual criminals. And it's because they're chicken shit cowards. So Nicole's car got stolen and she was unable to work. She used to do delivery gigs. So she's had to adjust since that's happened. find other ways to make income, okay? Life has been incredibly difficult for Nicole. <clears throat> she is one of my favorite gals out here. She's a hard worker. But as you know, being behind the eight ball never gets easier. When your government is working against you, ensuring that inflation is through the roof, Oh, those rotten homeless people, they don't want to do anything with their lives. They're all a bunch of worthless drug addicts. Yep, get out here. I dare some of you people to get out here and go face to face with some of these people on a work ethic. 
you will have not ever met a harder worker in your life than some of these people out here that have to go through more physical labor than some of the hardest, most laborious labor jobs there are out there. I don't think people understand how physically demanding it is to live on the streets, to live in a camper, and then to be judged for it all, of course. So it's early this morning. Last night was a late night. Oh boy. If, if you didn't catch last night's Sheridan City Council meeting, you're gonna go, wanna go watch that one. <clears throat> it was a live stream. It's on my YouTube channel. It's also on Denver Metro Audit's YouTube channel. Sweet streaming live as a manager from his account last night. Boy, we got some good footage of tyrants just putting more of their tyrannical behavior on display. <laughs> Jeffrey Martinez, the chief police of Sheridan, Colorado, the Denver fuck up. He told me <clears throat> at the end of the meeting, after he started taking pictures of us, you know, because only government can take pictures of the people. Dare the people record their interactions with government. He told me that he was praying for me. What a blessing. What an absolute blessing Jeffrey Martinez is on the United States of America. Leaves a career in Denver after 25 years <clears throat> This is the definition to straight up sociopath. Go see my community post that I made this morning and see the two pictures of him. This is a dude who never got enough power over others. Leaves the Denver Police Department after 25 years to go be the chief of police in a town of six, in a city of 6,000 people, Denver suburb, orders the violent arrest of five people, recording their interactions with government. Nothing more, nothing less. That's the definition to a sociopath. Ordered his army. You should have seen it. If you didn't see it, I don't know who hasn't watched that single filing of the Sheridan Police Department come out from behind the doors and just go start plucking people and arresting them. It's, it's a little surreal for the United States of America. So anyway, that's a very important issue shared in Colorado. Keep your ears peeled on that one. <clears throat> but this morning's mission is to pick up Nicole and drive out to our data. Cop shoots hero. <clears throat> there was a, an active shooter situation in Arvada a couple years ago, and the cops shot and killed the guy who took out the bad guy. That's Arvada. That's where we're going this morning. So, we'll be waiting for Nicole here to get in the car. I am going to map our journey. Bear with me one moment. Good morning to you, by the way. So what I think should happen today is that Nicole 
ask the judge to turn this into a money only case because here's the truth that's all they want that's all they want is their money right so let's let's pay for nicole's freedom today i'm prepared i'm prepared to close this case for 250 dollars today it's called let's make the deal that's what we do every day with government i don't have time time is money <clears throat> And uh, it's worth $250 to go in there. It's bribe money is what it is. There's no victim in her crime. But if this judge has any moral scruples about them, they will turn it into a money only case, which means in lieu of the money, they'll allow community service. I'd like to take Nicole to do some community service through my nonprofit. I met a lady yesterday, an 84 year old woman who bless her heart, thought she was helping some homeless individuals who took advantage of her. This is something I'm not okay with. <clears throat> and I plan to make it right. I've never said that everybody out here is a good soul. I've never said that everybody housed is a good soul. <clears throat> so we know that these types of people exist everywhere. We know that. We know about evil in this world. I lied it's a little more than five miles so this woman this elderly woman hired some homeless folks to clean up her yard and that's not what happened so I met her yesterday under some circumstances that I'm dealing with on another issue <clears throat> that I need to get closure on as soon as possible And she needs some, some help in her yard. And Nicole and I would have a really good time doing that. We're artsy fartsy kind of people. And uh, I have a horticulture background. And we will see if this judge is honest about paying your debts to society, right? So we'll see how that goes. Indiana Auto Auditor, thank you for being there last night. That was awesome. Yes, everybody hit that thumbs up, please. Yeah, the guy with the documentaries, I know. That that would be that would be a hit for sure. Good morning, M M M. No, come on, hun. We gotta go. <laughs> Courts at nine o'clock. Yeah, great job, everybody. Last night, we the people. Far lap. Yeah, it was awesome, wasn't it? little fire under uh denver metro audits yeah it was a late night irish rover indeed hey i was ready for an all-nighter i figured i'd just stay up and show up here to get nicole <clears throat> oh she looks nice Good morning, Nicole. Good morning. How are you? I'm okay. Did you get my text on live streaming? Yes. Good. Cool. Because people have been asking about you. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Everybody wants an update. So I figured today would be a good day to do it. And I wanted to talk about what I think 
this judge should do today. Mm -hmm. I'm not an attorney. I'm not giving you legal advice, but I am telling you that your horrible crime against society should be nothing more than a money only case at this point. Mm -hmm. So the money only case means that they're gonna either set a fine <clears throat> and or convert that fine into community service hours. Mm -hmm. But it has to be you requesting them. And the money only case does not allow them to throw you in jail anymore. Okay? Okay. That's the number one goal. Because I know you said before Right. <clears throat> and you didn't go because the judge put these stipulations on you. Full time you job. That if you had a job in a month. Uh-huh. And, and you could you would pay half of the fine and all this bullshit. So what this is is negotiating with tyrants. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay? Mm -hmm. Look, if you can't turn that into a money only case, what's the fine gonna be? Yeah. Because my nonprofit is prepared to pay the blood money to set you free. Okay. okay? So if it's the fucking money they want, just give them the money. But you're indigent and you're dependent on a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> we're gonna see what this judge is actually about. What the what the Arvada courts are actually about. I haven't, I've been to Arvada courts one time. Oh, one time? One time, and it's been a lot of years ago. So the whole thing has changed. Since May, I've been there. Just on this one case, it's been like four times. Seriously. This would be like fifth. Unreal. See, that's nonsense. Mm -hmm. that, that has nothing to do with justice. It's supposed to be justice, not just us. It's supposed to be justice. So that's up to you. I mean, how you present that to the judge, but really it's a money only case <clears throat> at this point. They, they want something from you. And we all know what government wants. They want money. Mm -hmm. So if it turns into a money only case, then the question is, can I do community service for that dollar amount? <clears throat> Can you convert that into community service hours? Because what I want to present to you, and I didn't tell you this yet, I met <clears throat> an 83-year-old woman yesterday in a home who lives in the area, and she thought she was doing good by letting some homeless folk come to her house to do some yard work. Mm -hmm. Well, one would think, yeah, but that's not what happened. So, I met her yesterday because I'm dealing with that situation in another arena. Mm -hmm. But I told her, I said, you know what? I said, I know plenty of people that want to do honest community service. Mm -hmm. So I thought you and I could go over there mm -hmm. and do our thing in her yard. That'd be cool. Yeah. She's a I sweet, like sweet lady. I, knew, I thought you'd like that. You're good at stuff like that. She's got all kinds of yard art. She is very, very sweet, but a little, a little naive. At the, I mean, she's 83, 84 mm -hmm. years old. World's you know, changed since yeah, back then, yeah, and, and she owns her home, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, if you guys are just tuning in, Nicole is in the car, and we're headed to court in Arvada, which is in Jefferson County, which is about eight miles northwest 
of where we're at right now, just outside of the Denver metro area. It's a suburb of Denver. <sighs> Nicole's been dealing with this victimless uh, compulsory uh, charge of uh, no insurance, which by the way, do you have your insurance card with it's you? on my phone, yeah. Good. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I have it printed out too. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Not that it matters at this point because all they want is money. So we're gonna be prepared to negotiate blood money with the government because that's what they want <clears throat> and time is money but we'd like to see if this judge has any scruples about them and we'll convert this case into a money only case in lieu of community service and Nicole and I are going to go do community service for this elderly woman who thought she was doing a good deed for someone else and it didn't turn out to be that so you know, the world has a way of coming together. <clears throat> and we'll probably do that anyway for that woman. At least I will. If we don't do the community service for whatever reason, um, I'll pay somebody. And I'll go over there to do that work with them. driving like a Denver cop right now minus the no turn signal thing right I can do whatever I want because I'm a free American so Nicole look at how beautiful she is this morning tell everybody what went down <clears throat> with getting your stuff from dicks remember everybody if you watch Nicole's story Inglewood took her to jail on a parking ordinance because they were able to uh, find this warrant that Nicole had. <clears throat> and they stole her home, her trailer, everything she owned, and threw her in jail. We managed to get them to release her RV. But the trailer with everything she owned, her winter survival survival gear, uh, they wouldn't give it back to her because they claimed that she couldn't prove something about the VIN. So Nicole managed to get her items out of her trailer, right? Mm -hmm. She got a letter. Joel Jose, that dumbass lieutenant over in Inglewood. Yeah, he wrote this note. Yeah, so... Nicole, if she can find it. It says, to whom it may concern. That's like, the, and we're supposed to go, the letter to Dick's telling to them to release my property. Look, look, at, look at this, this folder that she so keeps. Funny. Can you see this? Look at this bullshit. This is all government coming after Nicole, right here. She has to keep it in a, in a folder. All for trying to survive. Oh, here it is. No, no. For, no, that's Arapahoe County Jail. Uh, they want money too. Yeah. Of course they do. Two dollars for being in there for six hours. Arapahoe County Jail. When they when they when they took her against her will, beat her up. Which, by the way, we've never gotten a response from Inglewood on that body cam footage. We saw her uh, fresh bruises from them roughing her up and throwing her around in the back of that car. I also needed to check my mailing um, address to see if that letter came in the, come in the mail for my ticket that I um, um, uh, amended or not amended. Um, you filed a... I filed a <clears throat> uh, you contested yeah. the parking ordinance that they made contact with her on. Uh, they claimed she was parked on a sidewalk. Yeah, there was no sidewalk. It was a hard curb. I mean, these Inglewood cops were hard. Not the person supposed to ever get in front of all of this bullshit. This is done deliberately to bury them. Uh, uh, 
the seizure warrant warning. The um, next day? Yeah. So Nicole gets her RV out of Dick's. 1405 hours. Goes out to be with friends that can work on brakes because all of a sudden she's got no brakes on her RV. And it was really interesting that Dick's tow yard pointed that out to her that she had a brake problem. Well, it's because they knew she was going to get behind the wheel. So they went out and temporarily fixed the brakes. I was trying to put brake fluid in my power steering pump, my power steering kit. Great. So Nicole goes out to be with some friends that can work on the RV. And less than 24 hours later, she gets this. This is from McGregor in District 4. McGregor puts a seizure notice with another ticket on her RV. These assholes are determined to kill these people. We call this Denver's death plan. And don't think that they're not collaborating with the local municipalities like Inglewood, Sheridan, Littleton. They all talk. And she was told that at Dick's when she left, they told her, you better get out of the area because we talk. They all talk. They all talk. So it's like, is that a threat? Yeah, it's always a threat. So it's been, I don't know, well over a month, six weeks that Nicole's been trying to wade through this stuff. Work, you're, st you're working a little bit still, right? And try to survive by moving every 12 hours because if she doesn't move every 12 hours there's police contact you guys this is what the police in the denver metro area have time to do yeah. target and harass those simply trying to survive they don't want them to survive they want them to die i have to fear for my home being taken every single time i leave it go to work to, to go to the store to just do anything so they have to work in shifts they always have to make sure that there's somebody right there like yesterday the individual who lost his thumb with an infection is also the mechanic that helps people like Nicole so they all kind of stick together but he's in bad shape because he's no still dealing no. huh he's no longer able to wrench now yeah he can't so yeah he, he, he can't work that was his last job my, my RV. Oh. let me tell you something about bear you guys this guy he knows his shit so this is another blow to the community out here bears doesn't work for me he's got my 1976 camper ford engine no dodge what is mine dodge. I, you guys know more about my camper than i, I do dodge. they got that thing if i'm not mistaken humming i mean that's a 1976 it's got 32,000 miles that thing runs and starts up with no problem and it's all because of bear okay you guys so yeah I'm a good multitasker. <laughs> yes, you are. So this is a blow to the community. But anyway, um, Bear is trying to recover. And their home is still on the streets. And they weren't there yesterday. And Nicole was trying to help them when she was stopped by Officer Blea in District 4. McGregor's little... Uh, boy toy partner in crime to combat homelessness. So they pulled her over as she's trying to help Baron Amber keep their home. You guys, the story, it, 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 this shit just goes on and on and on, okay? This is in front of that business that's running that uh, alarm with the, in, with the intent to annoy and harass these folks parked there i shit you not there's three giant piles of shit dirt manure 
whatever piled up in this park's parking lot. Been there for months. Months. And they're worried about these folks. There's like a couple of years. Those yeah, years, that stuff so. has been there for a long time. Yep. And they're worried about these people parking in the parking lot. So between the parks, between the parks, <laughs> the business, and the cops, they harass them constantly. That alarm is either blaring around the clock, which, by the way, you guys, since I did that video, it's and came I came on for about 30 seconds, if that, about two times. Since then? Yeah. So for the last at least few days, testing it or something, I don't know. That alarm has not been going off as I'm continuing to work with Denver's excise and licensing to find that business for not following city code. You know, laws for for thee and not for me, bullshit. No, we're not we're not doing this. These people intentionally harass the homeless. And it's collaboration between city council members like Kevin Flynn, the Denver Police Department, and businesses. So and we're fighting it. We're fighting it. Okay? So Nicole gets pulled over by Blea yesterday. So Nicole gets on the phone right away. Bless her heart. Thank you, Nicole, for calling me. <laughs> and, and Blea and, and Blea was ever so kind. <laughs> yeah. And and he told her to go ahead and help her friends while he sat there and watched. Oh, you're 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 towing it out of here? What what Tell me that. Imagine and then he that. Starts, before that, he starts harassing me about my if I have insurance on it, and I have no tags. Uh, oh, you haven't gotten tags on it yet? No, boy, I need you to hand over some cash so I can do that. He's concerned about it. Yeah, I'll bet he is. Oh, this was McGregor, huh? Yep, that seizure notice was put on by McGregor, which McGregor and Blaya are on today. They'll, they'll be a team out there harassing everyone. So luckily Nicole has uh, someone out there at the camper to watch it because they know she's gonna be gone at court. This would be a prime time for Denver to swoop in and try to steal they already, it. They already came by this morning, uh, McGregor. Or not McGregor, uh, Blaya. Did he? Yeah, because we were on the street and then we had to move into the park. Uh -huh. He already came in and was... Taking notes? Yep. Because then... Denver can't fight any violent crime. They can't uh, deal with catching actual thieves that are causing hundreds of thousands of dollars of loss for people in catalytic converters, vehicles, hundreds of thousands, millions at this point. Colorado's the number one state in the nation for auto thefts right now. I have got to tell you about what happened when I went to go pick up the stuff from my uh, Thank trailer. Thank you. I'm sorry. I just kept talking forever. So back, uh, back to Nicole getting shit done at Dick's. I have the list. This is the list right here of everything that I had sent in to the officer. What is his name? Uh, Lieutenant. Lieutenant Joel Jose. Joel Jose. So he writes me a letter stating to release my property so I take it over to Dix I am now dealing with the owner of Dix which is so you're not dealing with Jason nope. anymore nope. so Jason wasn't even like he didn't even show his face around there but and well who was this guy was this a, a Connolly or um, it wasn't Brian Brian I think was it Brian I think it's uh, sounds familiar Tall, skinny guy, a little bit older. Bald. I think he's balder. Balder? No. no. He's older. He's older. He's been doing it for 40 some years in the tow business, he says. Interesting. But, so I get, um, I have my friend take me, use his truck to load up my stuff. What and was the temperature at the time you were doing this? That was one of the reasons we were kind of waiting. Yeah. Um, it actually warmed up a little bit. I don't, was it I like don't, in the 20s, out of the teens? It was still... out of the teens, yeah. Um, oh, so it was like 20s, 30s, you know, it wasn't below zero that day. Or, yeah, it wasn't snowing at least. But 
My, we had, I had to make two trips because I couldn't, you know, couldn't get it all. And then um, they let someone help you. He, the owner, was actually helping. Just you and him? No, my friend, me, and my friend, and uh, the owner. Okay. He was actually helping me move the stuff, and he just he pulled the trailer out, and actually he was like 100% like Mr. Nice Guy, you know, totally different than Jason or anybody mm -hmm. over there. What do you say about your trailer? Oh, that it had. Um, I just needed to come up with any old bill of sale. And then um, he came and I asked him what happened to my scooter that was on the outside right next to my trailer. And he said, oh yeah, it's here. It's over there, you know, on the other side of the yard. And it's funny because he let me go take a picture of the VIN on that because... Of your trailer? Or of, no, not the trailer. Of the scooter? Scooter. Uh-huh. Because he's like, people... I. I just need people to, you know, pick their stuff up. I'm tired enough, you know. Well, duh. I'm then give it to them. <laughs> if they can't prove it's stolen, what authority do they have mm -hmm. to continue to hold your property? This is bullshit. So, so what are they telling you about the trailer? You, just, did you just produce a bill of sale? Just any old bill of sale will do, and he'll release it. Wow. So I know you've been trying to get in contact with the people who sold you that trailer. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, they don't have to prove shit. They get to keep your property. He doesn't want people's property, he says. Is that what he said? Yeah, they, they, he has like uh, four or five 30-yard uh, roll-offs a, a month just to throw away all that people's shit. That's what he pays. Really? So they're throwing people's stuff away? Yep. instead of giving it back to them yeah and or, that's exactly what they were going to do or with, the stuff with, in the in the in the vehicles you know wow this you guys is a government contract that doesn't exist by the way with the city of inglewood and a private tow yard dick's towing this is why you see uh denver metro audits out the other day recording herb I don't know if you remember Herb when he uh, tried to take Joey's camper with the help of the Inglewood cops, but uh, he made a really ridiculous comment about uh, women women yeah. not getting raped out Dad. there. This guy, I mean, this guy was just disgusting. So this is Dick's reputation for you. And then like without my trailer, I have no place to put this stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, so now it's sitting outside of her RV for the Denver cops to harass her over. Yeah, now it's amazing. She's got to move it every 12 hours. Instead of having her own damn trailer that was attached to her RV so she could store her belongings, they've, they've taken the situation stolen from her, acted like it's been a favor to give it back to her, and now she doesn't have... Uh, it's in my purse. Okay. And now she doesn't have any way to store her own stuff with her own trailer. And this is what, and, and we put up with this shit. No, no more. You know, that Nicole, she's just worthless. You have no... You have no place in society, Nicole. Hmm, that, right. that, that's, that's, that's what they say to you yeah. every time they show up. That's why they can't look you in the eye. Mm -hmm. You will bow down to them and you will make them feel like they are doing for you. All right, you guys, so we're about to pull up here. We are 10 minutes early. Uh, I'm not gonna record when we go in here. I fully expect bullshit insecurity. Um, it's one more. I don't ask for it. It's the way, it's the command they, res it's the respect they command in these security operations. Very few of them get it. Uh, when you start wanting to search my body 
and wand me and be a, a, a perverted okay. little dick. They don't do that. No. Well, I mean, they, they'll, they, you walk through a thing, they don't, they don't um, really wand you or anything here. I don't think. Yeah. They haven't done it to me here. I haven't seen them. But, I don't know. So we are at Arvada City Hall, for those of you that are paying attention. We're going to go in and I will post, I will pin the update in here. <laughs> we are prepared to negotiate Nicole's <coughs> freedom. Thank you everyone for your support in Super Chats. Much appreciated. And uh, fingers crossed that this judge has some moral scruples about them and they're interested in Nicole paying her debt to society. So here we are. Thank you all for being in here. Smash that like button on the way out. Peace. Mwah. Can I leave my